Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here with Brandon and Reba and we're going to demonstrate all the obedience commands that we've reinforced and taught Reba why she's been with at school and the training equipment that we're using. Brandon's using a standard six foot web training leash. He keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand which leaves his left hand free to make any correction. And the correction we give here at school is a little tug and release on her training collar. Now we're going to introduce you to her training collar when she goes home tomorrow, how to use it, and the obedience commands that we're using. Now she's seated very nicely at Brandon's left, which is where all the training starts and stops. And the first command we're going to demonstrate is healing. Healing is proper leash walking, always on your left, and the command is Reba heal. Now at this point she's got a job to do, and that's to stay even with your left leg. We like to say her shoulder blade should be even with your left leg, no forging ahead, no lagging behind. And whenever you stop, she's been trained to automatically sit. Now you'll also hear a click, which is reinforcing good behavior or listening, um, and the occasional treat we'll use for Reba to kind of keep her motivated. She's got a little blanket that we put out here, a nice automatic sit. Now the next command we're going to demonstrate is the sit stay. Sit stay is a hand and a voice command. Always again have her seat at first, left open palm towards her muzzle, one word firm command to stay. Now she did an automatic down, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but at home, have her hold a sit stay for 30 seconds working up to three minutes and traditionally correct her. If she goes into an automatic down, what we normally do is get her up and go right back to a sit stay. Now Brandon can get go back to heel position, heel her out of that, and we'll show you how to do that sit stay one more time. Biggest thing with Reba, I mean she's super smart, needs a lot of exercise, but a lot of mental stimulation. Nice automatic sit, stay. And if you think she may lay down, either anticipating that down command, you can have a little bit of a t little bit of tension on that leash, kind of upright, to prevent her from going down. But that was much, much better. Now Brandon can call Reba out of that. This is the come command, which she is absolutely spot on. She loves returning back. She loves praise, loves being rewarded for being a good girl. Um, super smart, no doubt about it. A little headstrong too. Very typical for the breed though. If she doesn't sit, Brandon will say no sit. Very good. Do the sit stay one more time. So again, left open palm towards her muzzle, one word firm command to stay. And again, your job at home will be to lengthen out the time and the distance, no stay. She's waiting for Brandon to call her, so she's looking for any sign of him doing that. Because you can see she flies right in, does that automatic sit, gets a little bit of a reward for doing a good job. At home, we're going to recommend that you work Reba every day. I mean, heel, sit, stay, down, come for 10 to 15 minutes per training session. I mean, every day, at least once a day, but if not, multiple times. Now the next command, which is a little bit more difficult sometimes, and occasionally we'll use a treat, which there's nothing wrong with, is the down from heel position. So always have her seated first. You're gonna use your left open palm towards the ground, the one word for command to down and to stay. At home, again, your job is gonna be to lengthen out the amount of time you have her hold this. So 30 seconds, one minute working up to four or five minutes. And this is good for her focus, her maturity, and her attention span. Again, have her hold this. And then Brand can, can even return back to his dog or call her out of that. He chooses to return back to Reba. And then they take off healing again. Good, and then one more down. Very good. And we do have a little blanket out here for Reba and for all of our dogs. They're gonna be graduating in the next couple of days. It's been damp, it's been wet. 
So one, it's a good visual cue kind of aid for the dogs to, to know their, their place and their spot. Um, she's done a really, really good job. I know some of the issues at home, um, excessive barking. <laughs> she got a little too excited. Crate training, Nora's gonna talk to you about that tomorrow when you pick Reba up. We've really enjoyed working with her. She's super smart. Um, a little challenging, obviously you know that, but we wanna thank you so much for using Nora's Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.